Business News acts as Freedom Watch, reports Infowars.com. Fox Business Channel has cancelled one of the only shows on the entire Fox News network that was in any way informative or watchable. Freedom Watch with Judge Andrew Napolitano. In a press release distributed late Thursday, the channel announced that its entire primetime programming lineup had been changed with reruns of already existing programs replacing Freedom Watch. Napolitano's show had been airing for a year, in which time he had consistently covered major issues that other news programs would only gloss over if they devoted any coverage to them at all. Napolitano's coverage of the Freedom Stripping National Defense Authorization Act, for one, was second to none as far as mainstream news output was concerned. His legal and constitu constitutional expertise on such matters is also unrivaled. And of course, as you know, Judge Napolitano is a close friend of this show. Freedom Watch is hugely successful on YouTube. The clips on there receive tens of thousands of views on a regular basis. But, you know, this is a similar situation to Cenk Yuga, the, the young Turks guy who had a show on MSNBC, popular, the ratings were high, but his show got canned because he was directly told that people in Washington didn't like what he was doing, seeing through the left-right paradigm, talking about real issues, going after the real crooks, which is precisely what Andrew Napolitano's Freedom Watch has also tried to do. So Napolitano was one of the few mainstream hosts to actually give fair coverage to Ron Paul. He was one of the only mainstream hosts to routinely expose the crimes and misdemeanors of the Federal Reserve and the TSA. But, you know, he didn't talk about celebrity pablum like... Fox and Friends or some ridiculous morning show like that. He didn't engage in phony partisan bickering, so he's off the air. And uh, Lou Rockwell, who was uh, just a guest on this show the other day, he's encouraging people to, uh, he's actually leading a campaign for people to contact Fox to get Freedom Watch back on the air. So if you go to the InfoWars article, uh, Fox Business News acts as Freedom Watch, you can get the contact numbers to write Fox News and demand that they get Andrew Napolitano's highly popular Freedom Watch back on the airwaves. GOP strategist Ron Paul will be on the Republican ticket. GOP strategist Jack Berkman told Fox Business host Judge Andrew Napolitano, whose show has just been cancelled, as we just discussed, that a brokered convention will force Mitt Romney to pick Ron Paul as his VP, earning Paul a place on the Republican ticket. Stating that Ron Paul could still win the Republican nomination without finishing first in any of the primary caucuses, Berkman added, quote, I'll make a bold prediction right here and right now following what we've been saying for a year. Ron Paul is going to be on the Republican ticket. Berkman said that the presence of four candidates for the whole race would ensure a brokered convention. Quote, the likely leader will be Romney, but he won't have enough delegates to win, he added, forecasting that um, Romney would pick Paul as his VP because, quote, Gingrich and Santorum have extremely high negatives. Nobody in their right mind would want them on the ticket. So we have, we've had a very much mixed reaction to that story since it went up yesterday at Infowars.com. A lot of people don't like the idea of Ron Paul being secondary to Mitt Romney. They think he won't have much influence, even as VP. Whereas on the other hand, um, people have argued that Ron Paul as vice president would represent a massive victory for the liberty movement. But still, the possibility exists that as he collects all these delegates, he could still defeat Mitt Romney. But if not, uh, this GOP strategist, who has been accurate in the past, he predicted the demise of the campaigns of both Herman Cain and Rick Perry before they happened. He predicts Ron Paul will, at a minimum, be on the ticket, which means Romney will be forced to pick him as VP. So we'll continue to watch that one very carefully. Moving on to the quote of the day here, from our good friend David Rockefeller. Quote, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept the new world order. And of course, that goes right to the very heart of current situation with Iran, with, of course, the uh, potential that a crisis could be engineered, a new Gulf of Tonkin type incident to get that war going. Now, I'd encourage people here at the end of the show to sign up for PrisonPlanet.tv. Of course, this is the platform that we broadcast on. Um, a lot of this material goes on YouTube, but PrisonPlanet.tv subscribers get 
live access to the show as it's streamed. They get archives going back now years to 2004. They get daily archives of the Alex Jones show, both video and audio, um, speeches, special events, special interviews, just a complete library of material. And it is what funds this network. If we had no subscribers, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. And at the moment, we've got a special, which is 44.95 for a year. That's the Give the Gift of Truth special at prisonplanet.tv. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, if you want to support us in the information war, I encourage you to become a subscriber with all the great benefits it entails at prisonplanet.tv. I've been your host, Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News for Friday. We'll see, we'll see you next time. Take care. Greetings, fellow Info Warriors. Alex Jones here announcing the first of many trips that I'm going to take across this wonderful United States that we live in. And we get so busy here at InfoWars.com, the nightly news, the daily radio show, the documentary films, and all the other things we're doing that I tend to never go out and give speeches anymore. And I've got a lot of ideas bubbling around in my head about the history of the New World Order, what makes them tick and how to defeat them. So I'm titling this key speech I'm going to give. It'll run around two hours long, Blueprint to Defeat the New World Order. And we're also going to have a surprise premiere of a short documentary film we've been working on at the event. First off, I'm going to be going to Dallas, Texas, Sunday, February 19th, 2012, to the historic Lakewood Theater. And the next Sunday, February 26th, I'm going to be in Orlando, Florida. You can find out more about the events and buy tickets at infowars.com forward slash events. Now, unfortunately, every event I've ever had, we've had to turn people away. So get your tickets early at infowars.com forward slash events. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in this world. And the craziest of all is this explosive awakening. I can't wait to meet you and shake your hand. I'll see you in Dallas and I'll see you in Orlando. Infowars.com forward slash events.